Oh boy, it's getting to be about that time for a haircut. Yeah, get old beard trim. I don't know. The wife likes it when I get it get it long. Well, see it. I got her loaded. That's the MG motor. And I hope it plays nice and rides nice. Got the little box of parts too, so well my driveway is gone to snot fast. I need gravel. Yeah, actually just get it dried out, then I'll grade it. Oh, yep. So we're gonna take the little MG back to its home. Don't think I'm gonna work on it today. <clears throat> back is not playing nice at all in my lower back, right on the spine. Oh, it's hot in here now. Ooh. I know a good way to get a cold, but I'm hot. So yeah, we're just gonna slow boat this to their place, kind of, and get it unloaded. It's actually, I'd see if he might run me down, and we'll go check on his uh, five three. Cause he hasn't let me know if I need to go find another set of heads or if those were okay. He's kind of puzzled on why the water was going in the motor, too. So, anyhow, we'll get this down there and get it in their building. And I think we'll go after the oil, uh, oil filter, and spark plugs for this thing. Maybe a new cap and rotor and plug wires, too, while we're at it. See what he wants to do. So. All right, the MG has now left the building. I was hoping they were going to show up. There's a flock of geese, they're heading north, so spring must be coming. But yeah. Oh, yeah. Kind of a weird look going out the back of the window, huh? Kind of talented looking in their re review mirror doing that with you guys. <laughs> anyway. Oh. I'd like to know what I did to my back. That's it. I don't even like sitting down. So. <clears throat> the last couple of nights it's been crunchy, but. Yeah. Yep, there they really go. Alright. Okay, the motor's gone. Right there, you got that engine oil cooler. I want to sneak down and see the machine shop. Sneak up down and see if he's gotten anything done with that 5.3. Um, see if he's got a tap to fix those threads. So I don't have anything. And then while I'm at it, I'm going to pick up the spark plugs and oil filter for uh, the MG. Those in. It's in their building. And that, so. He's like, why don't you call down? I said, well, because sometimes I feel when I call down there, I don't get to talk to him. So. And anyway, we're going to talk to him about that Ford motor, too. The, the kid's dad's like, boy. Then they, I said, well. I'm finding out there's just not a whole hell of a lot of stuff you can do for a 390. It's just like there's... And I'm not finding very much choices in heads, and when I do, they're $1,800 for a set of heads. And his dad's like, well, why don't we just find a whole different motor? I said, well, if you don't go with another big block, I says, you'll be redoing all the exhaust, the transmission, the brackets, the motor mount, and everything, and 
the motor mount has been welded in because somebody has changed that out, took out the old factory style suspension on this Mustang and put a cross member in with control arms and rack and pinion and, and everything is welded solid. He's like, oh. He goes, well, maybe we should just do it back stock and he'll more than likely trade out of it all before he would enjoy the power. Well, he's like, oh. I said, that's what I hate about Ford. You can take a truck. I had a pair of trucks one time, both 4x4, both F-150s, both the same model, both with the same motor. One had a bad body, one had a bad motor. So we took the motor out of the bad body, put in the good motor, and wouldn't fit at first. That's when I found out I had to change the intake, the water pump, timing cover, oil pan, oil pickup tubes, because that one had two uh, uh, pickup tubes in it, because it had the double sump, and uh, distributor. And they were made, according to the build day, they were like two to three days apart in builds. And they just wouldn't interchange. Uh, that's, that's the only downfall with Ford. They decide to change something, they just change it. Mid-run of a product or what. And then, so yeah, that guy that I did that motor for, he's like, wow, what a mess. He says, you really? I said, he told me, he said, well, I'll put it in, it'll, it'll fit, it'll fit, and then I started pointing out all the differences and how they would the oil. He's like, holy cow. So, but yeah, well, we got it going. Oh, well, yeah, after we got it going, he started complaining of a uh, knocking noise, and he said, they're knocking that other truck. Well, that's when we figured out something was wrong with the timing cover. And that's when I switched that. The noise went away. So, yeah. Yeah, Ford can make power. Yes. Fords do run. Yes, I will admit that. But the hassles you got to go through to build the Ford and the cost of building the Ford. Wow. It's, it's just, yeah. Anyhow. Uh, well, we're almost there. We'll see what what's going on or what's not going on because I told him when I brought this down we had a time limit on it and he says yep no problem so we'll see you're probably going oh hey what do you find out about the 5.3 heads were they broke or not no they are not busted there is a service bulge that are not on those heads luckily we got the good set of heads that cast failure that you guys have talked about this set of heads are the updated version because he says well they like cracking when they were torqued down well we got the updated set of heads on this motor that had the problem corrected that had the thicker castings so we got the good castings the only thing he could find wrong was he said the water had to start becoming coming past the head gasket he said the heads were warped bad oh okay cool so, that's good. Uh, yeah, I was going to tell you guys about that, and then just hit me. I never said anything about what was wrong with the heads. He said, nope, the heads are actually in real good shape. He said, they need to be surfaced, and he said, the valves weren't too bad, because I didn't take that set apart. So, and anyway, well, I'm going to stop by the house quick, find a snack. And there's something, oh, I got to see if I got the shutoff valve and I got some jugs of water sitting in the house I could bring out and start hauling to the farm for the hot tank. So, um, oh, oh, that's the only thing about having a one-ton truck. Sometimes you hit a bump and you fill it. So, anyway, all right. All right, right there is the 40 over three bolt main dual dipstick block. Here is the 1010 crank I'm going to put in that one. There is what I got to get uh, rigged up to start plugging that, which I started bringing out water for. 
buddy called me from school today. He's working on it. So, I'm just, uh, just, uh, so I got a hold of the machine shop and he's going to get me some rings. Ouch. Mm. Coming for this 350. Oh, that hurt. Oh, I'm glad that wasn't plastic. Cam gear drove down my fingers. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, he's getting the cam bearings, rings, and main and rod bearings coming for me. So we're going to start on another 350 build, which I got thinking I need a set of heads done up. For that so I gotta pick out a set of heads and start cleaning them now I don't know what's going on today I just caught I dozed off sitting in the chair of trying to rearrange clean up in that and I dozed off I don't know backs hurting I'm tired I don't know what the heck's going on. Whatever it is, it needs to go away. I got stuff to get done. Anyway, I want to try and get moving and get a few things done here. I got thing that I can take back to the neighbor, get that out of here. Got this chainsaw in the box I can set up here now. Got the bench is going back to being a catch-all again for a little bit. And I'd like to get the 454 dug out and get back on that, which that might be what I actually dig out. I don't know. We'll see what's going on here. Look at there. Got it figured out. Got looking at the valve, and I'm like, I don't need to have that all 90 right now. So I got the valve in. And, whoops, wrong way. I got a bunch of garbage here to go out. And we're going to start. Dumping this water. This jug I stepped on earlier and broke it. So split it right at the seam. Anyway, I'm going to sit here. I've got 20, 20 gallons here, or 19, I should say. So I'll do this and maybe we'll tighten that hose and see what we get. Son of a. Yep. Doing exactly what they said it was doing, leaking. That one there. Son of a. Great. And they only dumped four gallons of water in there. Starting to get the shot back. So now I gotta figure out what's going on there. I guess with that note, I'm done for the day. I'm going home. So, see y'all guys. See y'all later. I guess now I'm going to have to figure out how to patch the tank. So, Alright.